So the endocrine system uses a large variety of different kinds of molecules called hormones to send signals through the body. Where do these hormones come from? Well, they're produced by the organs of the endocrine system, the glands. As you know, body systems like the cardiovascular and respiratory systems are made up of a number of organs. The endocrine system is no different, being comprised of a set of organs called glands, which are located in various parts of the body. Each gland helps to control certain processes in the body, and to do that it produces the right types of hormones. The glands can also communicate with each other. For instance, some glands produce hormones that are received as signals by other glands. Here are some of the most important glands in the endocrine system. In the brain is the pituitary gland. This is a kind of master gland. It produces a range of hormones, including some like the follicle stimulating hormone and the thyroid stimulating hormone, both of which control other glands. The pineal gland is also located in the brain and produces hormones associated with sleep regulation. Melatonin is one of these. The thyroid is a butterfly shaped gland and it's located near the base of your throat. It produces a crucial hormone called thyroxine, which controls many functions in the body, including growth and metabolism, and keeping your body the right temperature. The adrenal glands sit on top of each of your kidneys and produce adrenaline, which helps regulate the fight or flight response, along with a range of other hormones involved in growth and metabolism. The pancreas sits behind the stomach and produces insulin and glucagon. Uh, these hormones have a crucial role in keeping your blood sugar levels steady, even when you're eating food, which increases your blood sugar, or exercising, which decreases your blood sugar. And the gonads, or sex glands. In men, these are the testes, and in women, the ovaries. And they produce sex hormones like testosterone and estrogen, which affect the growth and development of sexual organs. There are many, many hormones in your body at any one time, and each one represents a different signal. Each hormone is produced by one of your glands, travels through the body, and is picked up by target cells, which undergo a change when they receive that signal. In some cases, the signal may be received only by a very specific group of cells, like a gland. In other cases, the cells that have the right receptors to receive that signal may be located all over the body.